Hello, everyone. I am Nirubali. I'm a career and a university counselor. And this is our second session in Creative Fields today. We have our guest speakers from Instituto Marangini, Amara Sangam and Mahib Papar. Welcome, both of you. Our audience is eagerly waiting to learn and explore creative fields with your expertise and guidance. Over to you, Amara, and over to you, Mahib. Thank you so much. Amara, please take it forward and then I'll do the presentation and leave the stage. Thank you. Okay. Hi, everyone. So I'm Amara Sangam, like ma'am mentioned. And um, so uh, what the way we'll do this is let me start the presentation. I'm going to tell you a little bit about me and I want to get to know you a little bit because the one of the fundamental things, the way we do these sessions, at least in Marangoni, is I don't believe that I'm a know-it-all. I have an expertise in a particular subject, but in a particular industry. But you are interacting with the world in a different way. You are interacting with the brands in a different way. So I would like to hear from you. It'll be a two-way street. So we'll keep it interactive. Yeah. So ask as many questions. You know, feel free to you know be as interactive as you want to be. I will be sharing details with you for, so you can interact with me on the go. Um, you can always comment on the YouTube section to get, you know, ask questions, to you know, answer, respond to my questions, any of that. Just give me one minute and I will load the screen. Um, so it's playing up with me a little bit. Ah. Right. Okay. So, um, like man mentioned, yeah, from Iskita Marangoni, and a little bit about me. So, I have spent a little more than a decade. A little short of a decade, sorry, um, in London. In and my expertise is in luxury fashion buying and merchandising, particularly buying and merchandising within the luxury fashion industry. Um, and I've worked with brands with the likes of Louis Vuitton Group, more, uh, um, Juicy Couture, French Connection. I work with brands like Hollister, which are not luxury brands as well. So kind of a huge range of brands in terms of experience um, with DKNY. Um, you know, um, I'm losing names now, Gucci, Dior, Harrods. Uh, if you have visited London, you'd probably know about these uh, places as well, Harrods and the likes of it. So I've, I've worked in different brands to kind of get an exposure in different spaces. Now, the way we work is, um, the way we are going to do this is, I will tell you a little bit about, um, about I've told you a little bit about me. Now, I want you to go on menti.com. You can see the code on here, menti.com, and you can put in the code 28079630, and we'll get to know each other a little bit in the process, right? So, so you'll see on the screen, which it says, what careers interest you? So I just want to get to know you a little bit. You know, if you're going to have a dialogue, which is what I said, you know, I want it to be a two-way street. It's not a lecture it's a two-way street even if you i can't really see you i can't really directly speak to you i'll still be able to talk to you through these channels so um i want to get to know you because if there is a dialogue that's going to happen if there are two parties in a conversation i've told you a little bit about me you need to tell me a little bit about you so um if you can go on menti.com and use the code 28079630 and tell me a little bit in terms of what careers interest you. What are you maybe um, interested in? Uh, what kind of space? Are you interested in design? Are you interested in business and styling and interior? 
in fashion side of things, non-fashion side of things, creative side of things, non-creative things. I'll give you a few seconds to kind of figure that one out and uh, tell me a little bit about you in the process. Can you hear me? Oh, okay, okay. Now you can hear me. Okay, okay, good. I kept talking and I realized, oh, hang on, I'm sharing my screen, but you guys can't see me. Okay, um, I think you should be able to. Are you able to see the screen now? Mahip, are uh, you able? To? Yes, we are able to see the screen. Okay, okay, great. Now it's. Not I don't there. know at what point. Oh, so when I'm sharing the screen, I think you can't see it. Now I can see the screen. Oh. Now not. Now you can't? Now I can't. I'm on the presentation. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Um, let's try this. Are you able to see this? Mm, no. Okay. Can you please uh, put your full screen? Let me screen? try. Yeah, I am on full screen. Let me try again. I'll start launching it again. One minute. Useful screen. Yeah, yeah, I'm on full screen only. Entire screen is what I've selected. So that's why you're able to see me, the window within window, because I've selected the whole thing. But when I switch to the presentation, you're not able to see. Are you able to see it now, by any chance? No? Yes? Yes, now, yes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. We you can see the presentation? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Right. I don't know at what point did I lose you guys. So um... let's begin from the very beginning. Okay. Okay. Fine. Right. So, um, like ma'am mentioned, I'm from Isthita Marangoni and uh, my name is Amara Sangam. And I've spent a little short of 10 years in luxury fashion space, particularly in London, in buying and merchandising, which is where my expertise is. Um, I've worked with the brands of, um, you know, such as Louis Vuitton Group, uh, Juicy Couture, DKNY, French Connection, Hollister, Aquistutin, Harrods, Gucci, Dior, um, a range of brands. Um, and um, the reason I like to talk a little bit about myself is to give you an idea of who you're speaking to and to make sure that it's a dialogue because I would like to get to know you a little bit as well. Because the most important thing for me is to make sure that you are having a good time and I'm having a good time. And it's not a one way lecture that I'm here to give you some big yarn. Right. You all interact with the brands in a particular way. You interact with the uh, industry in a particular way. So I'll get to learn from you as well. So we'll make it a two-way street. And if it's a dialogue between two parties, so you get to know me a little bit and I get to know you a little bit. So in the process, so I've told you a little bit about me. And um, now I want to get to know you a little bit. So if you go on menti.com and use the code 28079630, it'll ask you a question, what career are you interested in? And I want you to tell me a little bit of, in that sense, in that space. Mahip, are you able to see the screen? Yes, yes. OK, OK, OK. Right. OK, can we have the students go on menti.com and use the code 28079630? 
I want to know whether you're interested in design, are you interested in business, are you interested in styling or interior? Maybe you're interested in fashion side of things or non-fashion side of things or creative or non-creative. However, whatever you're interested in, give me an idea of it. Let Talk to me a little bit and let me know. Okay, can I get, um, let's do this. Can I get the students to comment in the comment section? So just so I know who's there a little bit, tell me a little bit about you. Maybe tell me your names or tell me what you're interested in in case you're not able to connect to menti.com. I just want to know what the how many students am I talking to? Am I talking to five students or I'm talking to 50 students? It'll just help me kind of navigate accordingly. Uh, just a so feeler. Amara, this, this software is basically a streaming software. Whichever the video we are doing right now, it will directly go to the YouTube you know, yeah, channel. Yeah. So uh, yeah. no student is connected to this software, so you won't see any comments here. No, like no the comments on the YouTube, they'll be able to comment on YouTube, right? That's what we were yeah. told on the comment section we talked. I think somehow it is disabled. Okay, we have uh, Max Crunchy. Ah, who has okay. So, okay, yeah. great. Hi, Karan. Okay, great. I'm glad. So, Karan, can you, uh, Karan and Aditya, um, can you, can I ask you guys to go on menti.com like I had, uh, I had requested? So, if you can go on menti.com and talk to me from there, I'm going to share the screen with you once more. Are you able to go on menti.com and put in the code 2807-9630? Okay, I think they're able to I chat with me on YouTube, but then they're not able to. Yeah, we should we should continue with the session because you know uh, uh, the the whole yeah, idea. Yeah, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to understand. Oh, can you repeat the code? Are you not able to see the screen? My no, are you I'm able to not. see? You're not able to see the screen. No. Oh, so minute I'm sharing the screen, uh, sharing the presentation, you're not able to see it for some technical reason. Okay, if you put in the code two eight zero seven nine six three zero. I repeat two eight zero seven nine six three zero. I'm just trying to get a gauge in terms of if you're able to use Mentimeter as well, because if not, then uh, if the menti.com menti is not working, then I'll have to navigate the presentation accordingly. Are you able to see the menti screen that I'm sharing? Code 28079630. Okay. Some reason. Okay. Fine. Okay. Then we won't be able to use Menti through the presentation, looks like, because the minute I'm sharing my screen, you're not able to see it. Are you, let me, let's just hope you're able to see the presentation. Are you able to see this? Okay, so I think there's some technical issue, unfortunately, uh, with Amara system. So uh, let me start again with Istituto Marangoni. Uh, just to let you know all, this is an Italian design school. Uh, which started in 1935 in Milan. So I'm just going to show you a small, uh, you know, a presentation about 10 minutes, which will give you a brief information of the background of Marangoni to the, you know, the present situation of the course curriculum, admission process, fee structure. And now before I start with the presentation, uh, please, uh, you know, 
try to comment yes if you have ever heard about these names otherwise you know you can you should also know that istituto marangoni is associated with the brands like louis vuitton prada armani versace christian dior h&m intidex max mara burberry chanel so these are the top recruiters for this institution uh, let me start with a presentation for you all to know more about it uh so okay. perfect so you all can see my screen i'm sure you all can see my screen so i'll quickly go to the presentation would we'll start the presentation uh now to begin with i'm going to show you a small video of the life of a student in istituto marangoni in the master of fashion design everything is fashion to the interior design yo to interior design <laughs> I'm at the school my name is chris the uh, 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 the meaning of fashion um i want to be a fashion designer <laughs> So that was a life of a student in Istituto Marangoni, right from where they start and they end the campus to the last day when they present in front of the audience and then they start the journey uh, in the in the market. Now, a little more background that we started in 1935. So far, we have about 4,000 students getting graduated from Istituto Marangoni, with 45,000 alumni already working in the industry. Marangoni stands on the four major pillars. The one is the creation. We have courses that make students create in fashion design or interior design or product design, graphic design, multimedia design. We have all those creation related courses. Communication courses are also there in which you know student is able to put their product in front of the audience. We make sure that our student is exhibiting their job work properly in the industry 
we have management courses right from fashion business to interior management to product management so someone is making the product and someone is also selling in the industry now we also we have the fourth pillar which is the main pillar is that we have a unique collaboration with the industry partners a lot of brands come and do the master classes in istituto marangoni and further take our students for the placements when we talk about istituto marangoni we are present in milano milano is the design capital of the world we are there in paris paris is the fashion capital of the world we are there in london which is the most commercialized city in the world then we are also there in shanghai we are there in shenzhen our campus is as well is there in the art capital of the world which is florence and now we started in mumbai our recent add on last year we started in miami in us as well so with this the life becomes very easy for a student they can start their course in any campus they can end their course in any campus now if you talk about all our campuses please understand that all these campuses are in the center of the city rather we make sure that all the students all our campuses should be in the main fashion streets or the design hubs so that when the student is coming to the campus they definitely get the inspiration while they come to the campus and then they can put that on the paper this was milan school of fashion this is milan school of design all in all if you look at the facility you look at the you know the furniture lighting facilitator the accreditation certifications everything is going to be the same for all campuses that makes unique for all marangoni students to start the course in any campus and they can end their course in any campus that means they can start the year in india they can do two years in milan paris london florence they can do Two years in India, they can do the last year in Milan, Paris, and Florence. La vice versa, they can do a year in Milan. They can do two years in Florence. They can do a year in uh, you know Florence. They can do two years in uh, London. So all these options are going to be there. We call it one plus two category or two plus one category. So far, India um, their campus has become a hot cake because of this COVID situation. A lot of students want to go out. to milan paris london florence to have that best exposure but definitely you know parents uh, are also kind of worried because of this covid situation and for them uh, for you to know is that we have a campus in india so you can even do a year two years here till things get better you will have the same kind of uh, exposure and facilitators and definitely you can offer your second year third year outside to other campuses this is kind of a cross cultural effect that you can see So this is the Mumbai campus. this was little bit of marangoni campus uh, a lot of students do come to me and ask me mahib which is the best campus of marangoni so please understand all in all campuses are taken care by the headquarters so as i said before everything is going to be the same the only difference is going to be the fee structure and the geographic exposure so this is what you need to think look in uh, as far as the india campus is concerned because it's a, you know right now it's a hot cake we have four undergraduate programs that includes fashion design fashion business fashion styling interior designing and uh, we one of the best course in pg program we have it in luxury brand management marketing where any student who's coming from bba bca uh, bcom uh, can come and join in this course now when we talk about istituto marangoni there is not a single big fashion show where my students are not exhibiting <laughs> Some of the clips for you.
So this was for the fashion shows that we've been doing across globe. Now, I'm sure you would want to know what my students of product design, interior design, graphic design are doing. So small video for them. So we make sure that my students get the best exposure in the world. So I'll, I'll cut short on that video. Definitely, uh, you know, you would also would want to know the career days, the career services. As I said before, now we have a 94% placement ratio with 88% only with luxury brands. Um, but the students that keeps on coming, the, you know, the facilitators that comes and teach in my campus are definitely from the luxury brands. They come and teach in my campus and give the live project to the students. Some of the opportunities that my student got while studying in Marangoni was these bands who came in and uh, gave the, you know, the placements to the students. The design side, you would see some more names. Uh, during the time when you've been studying and, you know, you'll be having a lot of people coming and teaching you, they will also give you a lot of live projects. And these live projects are also ranges from a live project with Disney, with the movie Alice in Wonderland, where my, you know, students have literally made the garments uh, and you know done a fashion runway for them uh we have live projects with max mara we have live projects with Maraki, we have a live project with kasari yeah, so students from right from first year second year third year they have been you know undergoing a lot of live projects with the companies and that makes it easy for them to get a job at later stage uh by the end of uh you know, their three-year course, they would have approximately six to seven live projects in the resume. So that will always give a heads up to the students. These are all the live projects that my students have done. Uh, I'll cut short on this video because, uh, you know, this presentation. And I would want to have a one-on-one where I would like to give you more information on the, uh, you know, how to take the admission. So. For Marangori to take admission, you need to be there. For, we will be checking you on a 360 dimensions. 360 dimensions means that we're going to be checking you on your last three to four years academic result. Uh, academic result in a way, the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th mark sheets we would require. We would check you on a last four years co-curriculum activities. That means maybe you're a national level scuba diver, black belt taekwondo player, dancer, singer, musician, working with the NGOs, having inter-college competitions. All those certificates that you have got in the last four years is going to be reflecting your personality in the best way possible. So we want to have all the certificates. Uh, we would also like to have your SOP statement of purpose, your resume, your portfolio, and finally you will have a round of an interview and then is when you get the seat. So yeah, we do not have a lot of seats. We have a limited number of seats right from the Mumbai campus to the Milan, Paris, London, Florence campuses. Now, uh, a lot of students do ask me, Mahib, uh, okay, 
you told us that uh, you know it's having the best placements but what about the ranking uh, just to let you know istituto marangoni stands in the top 10 schools in the world in fashion courses so definitely when we're talking about istituto marangoni you will definitely have the best exposure the best platform and everything is going to be the best but definitely life is going to be very very uh, you know intensive also because literally you'll come at 9:30 in the morning you'll get free every day for 6:37 Uh, for the next three years, because uh, you know you're not not just going to be learning the new courses, but you definitely have to work on the submission part also. And uh, yeah, so these are few things which to need you need to be you know uh, taking care of. Uh, I have some questions which says, uh, what about shoe designing? Yes, we do have a shoe designing program. We have it in Florence campus. We have it in London campus. Uh, definitely, you can connect with Miss Niru uh, and uh, you know. i will put her an email and then she can forward it to you uh yes niru ma'am so uh, can we have amara also on the line i think her she she's having some technical issues but now she's all good if is she there amara sangam for the q and a round Ah, okay. Well, well, finally, put me in front. I was back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so uh, we had a beautiful presentation by Mahib, and uh, there was a technical glitch from Amara's side. But yes, we are here with the Q and A. Um, Amara, this is for you. You've been in London and in India. You worked in both places. What is the difference uh, in experience you uh, you had in between the two places? so um i think in terms of education side so obviously when i went to university i didn't have this option like marangoni does of doing having education in the local market in the main mumbai while still having given that education having that european take on that and then also having international exposure so my whole education was abroad and then i started working there so when i came back in all honesty not having the local market exposure the network obviously makes a huge difference of course you are received well it's india but um, in terms of your working culture working style in terms of the market it's much better i if i had the option to kind of do a study in india and then study abroad um, as a combination then i in one package then that would have helped me a lot i think that was the one challenge that i faced between you know the two markets being uh, having worked there and having worked here um and i think i think just generally having a combination of a, that soft spot you know where you have the best of both is is uh, something that i didn't particularly um have because at my in my time that was that option was just not there um just not just in terms of the education side of it but just when i go out in the industry it also makes a huge difference i think the way people receive you because they understand that you don't just understand the european market but you also understand the indian market so you know whether it's international brands coming to india that you're trying to work with or you're trying to work with indian brands who are operating in india you kind of are fit for all spaces in that sense even if you want to launch your own brand you understand you've understood the market local market so well just while you're studying itself so it kind of makes a huge difference for sure i think institute to uh, having this uh, program 1 plus 2 uh, 2 plus 1 actually help students to understand both the markets and the culture and uh, get the most of the best of the world you know and uh, it's for very important career prospects yes i yes. personally when i counsel students i do tell them you know it's always and always better to have a you know exposure from the two countries be it any be it you take milan and london be it you take florence and milan be it you take india and whatever but definitely having a you know uh, the experience of the two countries will definitely help a student in the better you know career growth yeah for sure yeah uh, amara for you like uh, with the pandemic happening what is the future of fashion industry what are <laughs> uh, career prospects in this field so i mean i have a very personal take on it um i i mean generally i think with the pandemic everything is the uncertainty levels are like beyond the charts everywhere but i do feel if you look at the numbers i'm very much driven by numbers and data in that sense in my decision making and understanding of the market and industry i 
and my my expertise is also in that space so um, if you look at the market figures the stats you will see that luxury is a space which has kind of stuck around which will you know has weathered through all the ups and downs and even now you know the people who are loyal to luxury will continue to buy luxury will continue to be loyal to those brands and that space in the industry whereas retail in general is definitely suffering um, but you know because war uh, marangoni by may say is the dna is luxury so when students get out i've noticed that my students who have graduated now who have graduated who are kind of looking for jobs or kind of going out into the industry now are finding it a little bit easier to kind of get a grip on the market on the industry because they have an expertise in luxury and because of that they also understand non luxury so they know what is luxury and what is not luxury um and that makes a huge difference in the approach when they are approaching for whether it's jobs whether they are launching their own brands like our students who are launching their own brands during the pandemic you know because they understand the industry so well in terms of the different tiers that are there so i feel like luxury is definitely a very safe space it's a safe bet for sure because it's like weddings you know like even during pandemics you still have weddings you still have that need um so i definitely feel that's a safe space but generally i feel once we come out of it retail is still picking up there are retailers who are suffering for sure as an industry we are suffering because retail has really suffered but online picks up you know we are very adaptive in that sense you know, if you look at the history of our fashion of the fashion industry we have adapted through so much highs and lows so although yes retail brick and mortar are going into the store is stopping but people are still shopping online um figures in terms of luxury have actually in some of the countries like china and even in india in some spaces in certain uh, categories within luxury have actually gone up so um luxury i feel is definitely a safe space to go into and i'm very proud to say that marangoni's dna is luxury so we kind of cater that space and give that comfort to our students in a very um, in a very organic way so it's not like we are training them only to work in luxury but because we are our dna is so luxury in that sense in the process we are catering to a huge range of tiers within the industry i think uh, sustainability is also the in thing in fashion nowadays Uh, yes, a yes, lot of luxury awesome. brands are also talking about this and um, uh, i i feel it will help during the pandemic for sure i think so. i mean there's there's definitely a growth in the sustainability side but sustainability is a huge topic so i my expertise is in working with data science how to make a fashion brand sustainable and when it comes to sustainability i do feel that um, you know it's it's a huge topic we um, and because within sustainability there's too many tiers and too many spaces with that are working that are not working that are green washing brands are just using the term for marketing purposes so there's a lot of um, layers to it which i think when you systematically study it you obviously understand it a lot better so you can approach that aspect also more reasonably in that sense and do it justice i think that's more important And what is the most popular course in Institute of Marangani? Which which think, course you feel is the most popular? Which you will actually rush for? I think Mayif is better off answering. Yeah, that. I, I, I think I can answer this uh, in a better way. Okay, uh, so ma'am, it depends on the geographics. Okay, uh, like let's say if you talk about India geographics, India geographics. If you ask me, then fashion design, anything in fashion, fashion design, fashion business, fashion styling are always having a good demand. and then interior designing is having also good demand for a reason matter of fact because interior designing have furniture designing and lighting environment design into in that course so in the a lot of students were coming to me and say that mahim i want to do product design and i said why do you want to do product design in india they said no sir furniture designing and interior design, the uh, lighting environment designing doing very well so what marangori did the marangori put that course in that interior designing and all of a sudden this in interior you would you know being taught on residential designs restaurant designs commercial designs and then furniture designing and lighting and environment design so it became that one pack and it is having a very good demand in india oh. another course which unfortunately i don't have it in india but having again a very good demand in uh, in the indian sub uh, region is graphic design program not 3d designing not multimedia designing no videography uh, you know 
uh, cinematography i'm talking about only graphic design program as as a as a as a course it's having a really really high demand in india so these are four five courses which are having a good demand in india let's say if you talk about milan milan uh, you know any design field will always have a good heads up product design multimedia design graphic design fashion design fashion design in women's wear is going to be best in milan milan is the design capital of the world which specializes in the women's wear collection also likewise florence florence is the art capital of the world so if a student is getting into arts and in arts there is two three courses which are having the maximum demand and which will go really well for the student in terms of career is art curation or art management program that's taught in my florence campus but in florence campus there is another one course which is called fashion design in men's wear so men's wear is a specialization of florence in you know in terms of geographics so if you want to do that then go to florence and if student comes to me and say mahib i want to do fashion design but i want to do it with the haute couture so haute couture is the specialization of paris or you know jewelry designing again is a specialization that you can do it in paris campus I and mean, definitely we have it in other campuses the highest demand that you see would be in paris or jewelry designing then london comes in if you opting for you know the business programs interior management fashion business even you know a uh, fashion styling where you need to connect with a lot of pr and you need to work on the content building then london is one of the place where you will have the best exposure and you will have in terms of again not just exposure the platform is also is going to be the best that you will get so depends upon which geographics are you opting for accordingly you know you take the right call for yourself and then you are sorted for life and if you say mahib i want to do aeronautical engineering in india then i would say please think about it again <laughs> do it better from us you know or you do it from germany or you know likewise you need to take a call of the course um, looking at the you know the demand first uh, well institute is uh, all creative and now i want to know is fine arts as a subject uh, during high school would help them uh in the process like at times they do not have and how much does it hamper in uh, adjusting to the programs out there amara would you like to answer it or should i answer you okay yeah um so i personally feel that finance is definitely useful um if you have had some kind of exposure to the creative side to kind of grip a better for sure when you are in the classroom at uni in university um but i don't think it's it's a necessity i mean i can't speak for other spaces but i know in marangoni when we the first day when we have students we understand that there are students from different backgrounds different spaces with different learning experience and different learning skills so you kind of work you know our faculty because our ratio student teacher ratio is so small it's very comfortable to work with the students to bring everyone to a level that they're comfortable with and to work in educating them from that point so i don't think we keep that expectation in that sense so we don't have that i i mean i personally don't expect it from my students to have had fine arts in high school so that they can kind of uh, you know get me when they come here because i assume that they are coming from zero understanding because they have come here to learn they have not come here to show off what they know so we are i'm here to teach them so that's the that's that's my take on you know fine arts or not it's totally their call what they do in high school once they are in my classroom they i know i'll bring them on board okay. so of- our first year is when we teach the basics second year is when we teach the advanced level and third year is when we do the specialization for them so in three years the one student is getting out they directly get into the job they don't need that extra specialization to get into the job you know so right undergraduate just jump in the market Okay. Uh, one important question: Is portfolio a requirement in any of the programs uh, for Marangani? For any design-related program, let's say fashion design, okay. interior design, okay. graphic design, multimedia design, product design, shoe designing, uh, you know, or even styling programs, yes, portfolio is required. Now, portfolio uh, means five to seven best sketches, drawings, paintings, photography, artifacts that a student has made. a dress that they have designed for their self or their mom and dad a dress that gets styled for their selves or for their mom dad or for the friends take a before and after image whatever they think is the best for them put that in the slide each slide should have a 150 to 250 word write up because um, you know please understand students 
design is very subjective so you need literally need to define what your idea was behind making that design right so that 150 50 words will definitely gives a heads up to the person who will look at your you know uh, slides and uh, they will be able to get out the best of your personality in there so yes it is requirement for a uh, fashion business program i do not need a portfolio uh, but if it is that's an add on but uh, you know on the other side we would need uh, you know for fashion business it's always good to put like a a case study where you're doing a differentiation between the two brands with different you know analysis being done or maybe a blueprint of a new business venture you know let's say the student wants to come up with their own brand where they want to put in uh, what kind of product is going to be which city how they're going to be procure the you know the, the raw material what is going to be the production cost so if they can put on jot down some things on the you know blueprint of a new business venture will work again to get themselves in the business programs because now we need to understand Uh, though they are not creative side but then we do need to understand do they understand the demand and supply and the economics and you know all these micro micro things or not so again uh, along with that we need an sop for things to take them in admission ahead uh, well i believe uh, merengeni offered uh, summer programs so is it still on uh, during the covid uh, times yes it is on earlier we were doing a physical short courses uh these courses were ranging from 4 weeks to 12 weekends different courses in different campuses uh now it has become more of a hybrid uh where a student can you know sit in their own city and can attend this uh, courses online or they can go to the campus and uh, can do the physical sessions depending on the government regulatory uh, you know guidelines of that city if it's operational or not operational i know it depends upon right now is definitely you know if you talk about a, a week back Mumbai was already to do the short courses with the physical sessions, but now if you look into the lockdown, so we will be doing an online session. We will be doing a hybrid learning for them. So it depends upon where and you know you want to do it. We have the courses for them. We have one twenty plus courses rather for the students to offer, right? From undergraduate, postgraduate, one year intensive, short courses, four weeks to twelve weekends. So we have a big list of courses to cater to the students. Okay. Okay. And what is the best time to apply to Marigani? uh so to be honest uh, the best time to apply for marangoni or any top 10 top 20 universities is always going to be in the in very initial stage so let's say for 2022 admissions i'm going to have the admission forms in the month of november 2021 november till mid december is the best time to apply for the admission because at that time so every university will always go with the you know the benchmark uh criteria so in that way if you apply in that certain time there is a chance that you can get an admission even with you know 75% 80% grades and uh, if you are 90% grader with a good co curriculum activities you can also get a scholarship from marangoni and from other universities also so uh, what i have understood in the last 7 8 10 years is november mid till november mid december is the best time to apply for the students and if a student is wanting scholarship what uh, do you uh, recommend to them again uh, so please understand as i said before marangoni is going to check you on a 360 dimensions okay we would definitely will be very stringent and we take this with we give a speech to the student in terms of we're going to check them all on four five eight years so likewise if a student is setting up a certain benchmark as i said the student is a 90 percent grader but also is a black belt taekwondo player or a dancer or a musician or has given a very good interview to the interview or you know or has put a really good portfolio or an sop so looking at all those elements definitely the scholarship is going to be given the first year scholarship ranges now i'm specifically after telling you about the mumbai campus uh, it's going to be 5 10 and 15% of the first year fees now you once you're in the campus you're in the class now it's a, it's going to be a class of 20 students at the max so if you are in the first year if you are among those top 3 students and you are opting for the second year and you would take a call and let's say you want to do the second year in milan paris london for the milan or mumbai campus at that very time we are also going to assess your whole last one year if you are among those students with 85% above marks 85% above uh, attendance 95% above attendance with master classes you can apply for the scholarship for the second year likewise they can apply for the third year and scholarship will keep on changing it will definitely increase not decrease so you it's all in all on the merit basis okay 
Okay, that, that's, that's, that's valid. Uh, Amara, you're a big name in uh, luxury brands. I would want you to give a tip to our students or the creative audience that we have. We have mainly, I think, teenagers who are wanting to you know, step into this field. I would want you to guide them, give them their, you know, some tips to them, some advice to them. I think um, the top tip that I would um, definitely mention is, you know, I think as a fa fashion industry and luxury all the more, there's a lot of glam, there's, like, there's a lot of imagery in our minds when we're going into that space, whether we're studying or whether when we go out into the industry. And I always tell my students this, that, you know, especially if you're doing a creative uh, course if you're doing fashion design you're doing anything design related and you're a creative person and you see yourself as a creative person understand that when you go out into the industry in reality and that's how we train our students even on our courses um really in the reality of it that at the end of the day any brand any business wants to make profit so business and managing people and the manage like the non-creative part takes a huge amount of your time. You're not sketching and drawing and getting inspiration the whole time. So on like statistically speaking, about 35% of your time is what you would spend on the creative side of your job, actually. Um, I think that is a bit of a reality check, which often hits my students. Um, and uh, I would like to make sure that, you know, when you're going into it, you know that this is what I'm choosing. Because a lot of frustration comes from not being able to do that 100% of your time because that's what you love. But you have to love all aspects of it. You have to be okay with all aspects of it. And the reality is that you're running a business. You are managing people. You're managing teams. You're uh, not sketching and drawing and making clothes all the time or whatever you're designing all the time. Yes, absolutely. I think, um, yes, that's very insightful. And I think human, uh, how to handle human resources, your critical thinking also comes into yeah. picture where creative field is concerned. And with yeah. this note, I would like to thank both of you. It's been an amazing uh, session with you. There was a little technical glitch with Amara, but I think Mahib took it very well. And <laughs> I'm sure uh, students, um, the audience uh, would be happy and uh, must have gained quite a bit from your session. And we are looking forward to have in-person sessions once this COVID thing yes. settles at Chandigarh. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much, both of you. Thank you Thank so you. much for having us.